Check back at the naturopath from New Zealand. We're talking about autoimmunity. Now let's look at the symptoms of autoimmunity. What are some of the symptoms people usually get? Well, early on in the piece, it's actually really hard to pick what you know is autoimmunity and what isn't because everything's so vague. Everything's vague. What you often find is there'll be fatigue, some tiredness. Okay, there could also be some low-grade aching or pain in the joints or in the muscles, especially things like hands and feet. There could be some slight kind of feeling, you know, that you think something's not right there. Another key thing to look for is if you injure yourself, like bump your foot or, or have a fall or something like that, and it doesn't quite heal. It just stays there and it's painful and painful and painful. You know, I've, I've had this with many patients over the years where someone like, you know, bumped their foot and then three months later, there's still a low grade pain there and it's not coming right. So you know yourself when something's not right and that's when it's time to get checked out. And if you don't get a satisfactory explanation from your doctor, you need to go to another doctor, okay? But my recommendation is to go to someone, preferably who's integrated, so he's not just purely a medical doctor, but someone who can integrate medicine with natural medicine. So this could be a naturopathic doctor or a GP who has an interest in this kind of work that we do, because he or she is more likely to explore you, know, you a little bit more in depth, have a look at your lifestyle, look at your diet, make some recommendations and maybe do some advanced testing that's not necessarily you know kosher with the medical establishment uh, many tests that we do here we used to do in our clinic were laughed at by mainstream GPs but you'll be surprised how many GPs I've seen as patients over the years that wanted the test done and told me to keep my mouth shut I've seen lots of doctors and specialists anesthetists pediatricians psychologists psychiatrists all kinds of people where the drugs didn't work anymore all right. So remember, there's always options you've got, but the symptoms in the early onset can be very vague. And this is what will make your doctor send you home with an aspirin and say, give me a call in the morning when, you know, when it's all better. So don't be um, alarmed if that happens because it's common. But, you know, and sometimes it's very difficult to pick up an autoimmune disease, sometimes for a few years until it's well established. But that doesn't stop you from going to a few people to get a few opinions. And maybe some testing. If you've got some issues with your gut, you could do some stool testing, for example, to see what the state your gut is and get up to a higher level. So, but yeah, make sure that you see the doctor and ask the right questions and get checked out. Stay tuned. We're going to go further with autoimmune disease. <clears throat> we'll talk we'll talk about what tests are available and things like that in the next video but just remember nondescript vague fatigue maybe low grade fever that can be another one for some people as their immune system goes a bit funny they could be a bit sweaty or hot or or think well it's not quite right it's actually winter time but uh, you know I'm feeling a bit sweaty here in bed at night I'm throwing the covers off so if something's unusual like that especially fatigue with a bit of sweating or things like that get checked out straight away all right and we'll talk about the tests in the next video so we'll catch up there thanks for tuning in